Hello, and welcome to this Canadian Armed Forces Facebook Live information session. I am Sergeant Ivan Balanger, an infantry soldier and a recruiter at the Canadian Forces Recruiting Centre in Quebec City. This information will be important for you if you decide to apply as a military member of the Canadian Forces. Please do not hesitate to ask any questions in the comments and a recruiter will be there to answer you live. Without further ado, here are the topics that we will talk about today. Basic entry criteria. Structure of the Canadian Armed Forces. Staff categories. Military occupation groups. Enrollment process. Diversity, employment equity and benefits. And also how to reach us. The Canadian Armed Forces have a mandate, which has been divided into three sectors. One, protecting Canada by patrolling our coasts and our skies. Two, defending North America through NORAD, which is the North American Aerospace Defense Command in partnership with the United States of America. And three, with different missions with the United Nations and NATO, which is the North Atlantic Treaty Organizations, we contribute to international peace and security. Our roles within Canada. Our roles within Canada comprise of disaster relief, force fires, floods, and to conduct search and rescue missions within Canada. We can also assist local authorities to better security for different major events, such as the Vancouver Olympics of 2010 and the G7 Summit of Charlevoix in 2018. And also, we have the role to confirm sovereignty of the northern areas of Canada. Our roles abroad. On the international level, we help to maintain global stability with our allies, who are the United Nations, NATO, which is the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NORAD, which is the North American Aerospace Defense Command, and also our Navy helps to intercept illegal fishing, piracy, and drug cartels. Who can enroll? In the Canadian Forces, we have three basic criteria, age, citizenship, and scolarity. For the regular force, you must be at least 17 years of age. If you're looking at the primary reserve, you can begin the process at 16, and also you can begin the process for the subsidized education at 16 years of age. You must be a Canadian citizen. If you are a permanent resident, you are not eligible. A grade 10 or a secondary four with at least 24 units in Quebec is also accepted. We also accept the equivalency of the secondary school equivalency test or any trade school diploma. Our structure. Within the Canadian Armed Forces, we have two different elements. For the full-time aspect, the regular force, and for the part-time aspect, which is the primary reserve. Within these two elements, we have two different types of personnel, the non-commissioned members and the officers. We will touch on these two aspects later on in the presentation. Now you'll understand that within the Canadian Forces, we have three different environments, the Army, the Royal Canadian Air Force, and the Royal Canadian Navy. Regular Force. This is the full-time aspect of the Canadian Armed Forces. And yes, you can have a career as a member of the regular force. Once you're enrolled, you already start contributing towards your pension. You will also notice that the salaries within the Canadian Armed Forces are very competitive with the civilian sector. All military personnel has specific benefits, which include free dental and free medical. We also have specific benefits for military families. Within your career, there are possibilities of being posted to another base within Canada, and also training or missions abroad. Primary Reserve. This is the part-time aspect of the Canadian Armed Forces. So there is no engagement whatsoever, which just means that you do not sign a contract with us and that you can leave at any time. A typical training schedule for a reservist from the month of September to May usually revolves around one night a week, one or two weekends a month. And then we can offer you full-time employment during the summer.
Now, if you're interested in the subsidized education as a reservist, there is a program for that. It includes reimbursement of 50% of your studies for a maximum of $8,000. Now, as a reservist, you will always serve within your community, which gives you time for your studies or your civilian occupation. Categories of personnel. Within the Canadian Forces, we have two different types of personnel, the officers and the non-commissioned members. To be an officer, you must have a university degree. Now, our officers are what we call our planners, our administrators, it's the global command, the leaders. And then within the non-commissioned members, you're looking at our support, our operators, our technicians. Now, the difference between these two trades is very simple. If you look at a hockey team, the coach would be the officer. And the non-commissioned members, well, they're the players. Entry plans for non-commissioned members. If you're interested in joining the Canadian Armed Forces as a non-commissioned member, well, no experience is required. And you will be paid throughout all of the training that we will give you. All depending on the trade that you have chosen, there is a possibility of having all of your training in a civilian institution. And also, if you already have an education level or a specific amount of competence in a specific trade, we will do a prior learning assessment that could give you specific advantages in the beginning of your career. Entry plans for officers. Now, earlier on in the presentation, I mentioned that to be an officer, you need to have a university degree. Well, we have two different programs for you. One is the direct entry. Now, the direct entry just means that you already have a university degree. So you'll be eligible for specific trades as an officer. And the other is the ROTP, the Regular Officers Training Program. Now, with the ROTP, we will subsidize all of your university degree and give you a salary while you're at school learning. A majority of the university degrees will be offered at the Royal Military College whereas other degrees, such as the health services, will be in a civilian university. And now, we will look at the different military occupations. Combat Specialists. Technicians. Air and Ships Crew. Sensor and Radar Operators. Engineers. Telecommunications Specialists. Administration and Support Specialists. Healthcare Specialists. Other Specialized Occupations. Public Protection Specialists. Enrollment process. Once you've decided that you want to join the Canadian Armed Forces, your first step will be to apply online at forces.ca. Once that's done, you'll be invited to do the Canadian Forces Aptitude Test. Now, this test consists of 60 questions, multiple choice, within 45 minutes. This test will measure you on three aspects. One, logical reasoning. Basically, it's a secondary four or grade 10 math. Take note, no calculators allowed. The second aspect, which is linguistic abilities, it's a grade 10 or secondary four English. And the last, spatial abilities. It's uh, geometrical shapes. Once that's done, you'll be invited to do a psychological test. The next step will be the medical interview. Now the medical interview will be conducted by a qualified medical technician. They will verify different things like your heartbeat, your weight, your height, your hearing, and your sight. Now, all of this information will be collected to make sure that you are fit for military service. The next step, which is the job interview, is done with a military career counselor. Now, this is a very important step within the process. It's important to be prepared. And how do we prepare ourselves? Well, you'll find the trades that you're interested in on forces.ca, read up on them, look at the videos, and also you must look at the video regarding the basic military qualification course. 
during the process, for security reasons, there will be a reliability and a background check. Now, this check will verify stuff like credit rating and if you have a criminal record or not. Once this is done and everything's okay, you will be placed on a merit list. Now, this list is a national list of all the applicants who want the exact same trade as you. What sets you apart are your results from your aptitude tests and your interviews. Once you've been selected for the trade that you want, you will be contacted by the recruiting center for the actual enrollment ceremony that will be done at the recruiting center. Basic Military Qualification Course. Now that you've been enrolled into the Canadian Armed Forces, your next phase will be to do the Basic Military Qualification Course. Now this course is given in Saint-Jean-sur-le-Richelieu in Quebec at the Canadian Forces Leadership and Recruit School. For non-commissioned members, the course lasts 10 weeks. And for the officers, it's 12 weeks. Why? Because we add an extra two weeks for the leadership aspect of the course. On this course, you'll learn basic military knowledge, such as drill, dress, and deportment, military discipline, marching, weapons training, first aid, and field craft. Now, the basic military qualification course is designed to ease the transition between civilian life and military life. Once you've graduated from your course, you will actually go on to your next phase of training, which will be your trades training. Diversity in the forces. The forces welcome applicants from all genders, sexual orientations, ethnicities, and religions. We also accept and respect cultural traditions and dress. Now, you'll notice that the forces work as one. Therefore, we have a very strict zero tolerance policy against discrimination of any kind. You'll also notice that everybody is treated equally within the forces. If you are Aboriginal, we offer different paid programs with a cultural and traditional aspect that will give you a taste of the Canadian Armed Forces lifestyle without the obligation to enroll. Advantages. Now, the Canadian Armed Forces are an employer of choice. Why? Well, because we have very competitive salaries, job security, a pension plan, and in the beginning of your career, you'll receive four weeks paid vacations every year up to five years service. And then we'll bump that up to five weeks paid vacation every year. Now, all military personnel will receive free dental and medical coverage. We also have insurance programs for family members and other services. Throughout your career, you will have access to second language training and paid education. If physical training is important for you, well, it is a very important aspect of the Canadian Armed Forces. If you love traveling and adventure, well, you'll feel right at home with us. This concludes the presentation on the Canadian Armed Forces. I hope this live has given you information regarding how we work and the recruiting process. Keep sending in those questions in the comment section and a recruiter will get back to you as soon as possible. If you are interested in applying, I recommend that you contact a recruiter at a recruiting center near you. All information regarding details of our centers will appear in a few moments. I am Sergeant Ivan Belanger from the Canadian Forces Recruiting Center in Quebec City, thanking you for your time and hoping to see you among us.